You can easily keep track of your schedule and never miss an event using the calendar app. After opening the calendar app and selecting calendar from the menu bar, then add account and adding one or more accounts such as iCloud, Google or Yahoo, you can have all the events of these accounts available at once in calendar app. For example, if you want to add your Google account by selecting it and going through the steps, your Google account calendar will be added to the calendar app. To delete an account, you can do this from the account section. Most of the steps explained in this video are the same on iPhone and iPad. By watching this video, you can easily use the calendar app of your other Apple devices. If you use hands-off, you can seamlessly switch between your Mac and other Apple devices while managing events and calendars. To open an event, hand it off to your Mac, click the hand-off calendar icon that appears on the dock. To add an event in the month view, double-click on the desired day. Then, type its name and specify the corresponding calendar. Now, specify the start and end time of that event. If we go back to the calendar, we can see how many days that event covers, the same number of days we chose. The easier way to create these types of events is to hold mouse click on the start day, then drag until the end day, and then enter the rest of the items. If we want to turn a one-day event into several days, we can take the edge of it and extend it to the following days. To edit any event, double-click on it. Or, if you use a trackpad, use force touch. If this event is going to be repeated in the future, do it from the repeat section. To set an event, to repeat on a custom schedule, choose custom and select an option. For example, enter the number of weeks between each repeat, then select the days of the week you want the event to occur. For example, you can create an event that occurs every two weeks on Monday and Friday of that week. For some important events, we can set an alert to remind us when the event starts. For example, for one day before, two days before, or to personalize the alerts of our choice. It's possible to add a location for each event. Just type the first few letters of that location and then select it from the suggestions. In this case, by choosing travel time, an alert will be added to the event to warn us when we should leave for the desired place. If your event is a video call or video conference, select FaceTime from the video call section. With this, the video call link will be shared with the invitees to the event. You can even copy the link and send it to other people. To invite people to the event, they must be in your contact list. Now, by typing their name or email, you can invite them to your event. Finally, you can add a note, a URL, or attach a file to your event. Subscribe to the channel before watching the rest of the video and interesting Mac calendar options. After creating an event, if needed, you can move it to another day, or copy and paste an event on another day. To delete an event, select it and press the delete button. To delete all occurrences of a repeating event, select the first one, press delete, then click delete all. To delete some of them, select one or more occurrences of a repeating event, press delete, then do one of the options. Enter event detail using natural language to quickly create events in the calendar. Click the create quick events button on the calendar toolbar. Then add a description for your event. For example, enter party January 16, tennis game on Sunday from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. or vacation in Puerto Rico Monday to Friday. When you start typing the name of an event, you may see suggestions based on events you have entered before. When selecting a suggestion, the event details like location and invitees are filled in based on the previous event. You can specify the start time of your event by choosing breakfast, lunch, or dinner. You can easily create an event by typing in a spotlight. Lunch tomorrow 7 to 9 p.m. with Tom. Or ask Siri for help. Hey Siri. Hello there, I'm Siri. What can I do for you? Set up meeting with Tom and Jerry on Monday 4 p.m. What do you want to call it? Gathering. Gathering with Tom and Jerry is scheduled for 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. next Monday. To stay organized, it's helpful to create distinct calendars for different aspects of your life such as work, home, school, etc. 
Each calendar is assigned a unique color allowing you to identify which calendar an event belongs to quickly. To add a new calendar, select the file and click on the new calendar. Choose a name for it and change its color by right-clicking on it. When you move an event to different calendar, its color changes to match the new calendar's color. Double-click on the event and send it to another calendar from the right corner, or drag that event to another calendar. To move several events at once, come and click the events to select them, Control click one of the selected events, then choose Calendar. To copy one or more events, select the events, then choose Copy. Select the calendar where you want to move the events, then choose Edit, Paste. To create a calendar group in the On My Mac section, select the file and click on New Calendar Group. To add a calendar to a group, drag it onto the group name. To remove a calendar from a group, drag it to the On My Mac headline in the calendar list. If you cannot find the On My Mac section in the calendar list, it's possible that your calendars are associated with an account such as iCloud. To change the name of each one, double click on their name. And to delete them, right click and then select Delete. If you want to back up the events of a calendar, you can do this through export after selecting it. In this case, you will save a file of calendar information on your computer, which you can share with others if you want, or if necessary, open it inside the calendar app through import. Or drag the file to the calendar. If you want to save all your calendars in one file, select Calendar Archive from the Export section and save it to your hard drive. It's possible to share calendars with others, and you can choose whether they have permission to edit the calendar or only view it. If you set up iCloud on your Mac, you can use Calendar to manage your shared iCloud calendars. In the list of iCloud calendars, hold the pointer on the name of the calendar and click on it after the share sign appears. Now you can share it with your friends by choosing the name and their email. You can invite all members of a list in contacts by entering the name of the list. To keep someone from making changes to your shared calendar, place the pointer over the person's name or email address in the shared with list, click the down arrow, then choose view only. To allow anyone to view your calendar, even if they are not listed in the shared with list, you can select public calendar. To stop sharing your calendar, control click the calendar and select stop sharing. You can change the calendar settings according to your needs. Just click on the calendar and select Settings. In the General tab, you can customize your calendar view by changing the number of days per week, start day, and displaying birthdays and holidays. In the Accounts tab, you can add, delete, turn on, and turn off your calendar accounts. Change default alert settings for events and birthdays. Set an alert for when it's time to leave for an event and choose settings for notifications in the alerts tab. In the advanced tab, you can choose settings such as time zone support and week number display and clear the list of saved locations and attendees. To learn about the detail of calendar settings, as well as its symbols and shortcuts, refer to the links in the description of this video. You can add calendar widgets to your Mac desktop or notification center to keep track of upcoming events at a glance. To learn more about widgets on Mac desktop, watch this video.